This is a partial unboxing of Butternut AI. Butternut AI was on Product Hunt earlier this spring where it reached position number two for the day and then three for the week in its category. Now, the reason I said partial unboxing is while there's a lot that you're able to do without having an account set up, there comes a point in time where you need to provide an email address and they will send you instructions on how to continue. I've provided an email address, but haven't yet received those instructions. So for now, let's work on a landing page for a veterinarian office. Okay, let's start building. So we're going to work with the Sunshine, Sunshine Coast Animal Clinic. It is a veterinarian office. Office. And this is going to create basically a landing page for us. And here we go. So let's scroll down and take a look. So we do have a dog in our hero section. Um, I have noticed as I've been testing it out, subsequent parts of the page don't necessarily carry through with us being a veterinarian's office. But we're going to be able to change that. Um, I would point out that it has picked up my location and filled that in. And we've got the ability to hide sections. So I'm going to hide services. So if we preview, we're not going to see services. If we go back and turn that on, it's, it's, it's back. Okay, now that we have something to work with, let's start editing and seeing what's possible. Most sections have the ability to, depending upon what it is, edit. Um, if it's an image, there's an upload option. When I press upload, um, there will be some suggestions or not exactly suggestions, requirements about what type of image is possible. The types and sizes of images, I shouldn't say type. It's the same type for everything that I've noticed, but the sizes do change. Um, so this is going to be in the title bar. Um, if we kind of click more down here, we'll get the hero. So that's 1920 by 1080. These services is another size. Um, and these are yet another size. So let's start getting, start making some changes here. So let's start with uh, changing this here. Let's regenerate that. And let's regenerate this. And let's say that we are in more than just Naples. So we're going to take that, that out. Save our changes. And let's start working with the images. So, and I may do some of this off screen. So we're going to do upload. We're going to choose a file. And I do have a file that is sized appropriately. The dog at the beach seems appropriate for Sunshine Coast. And we're going to just, let's do uh, a few more. Um, so let's go to services. And we're talking about comprehensive medical care. So let's do this one. And this is an image from Canva, actually. So some of these are from Unsplash. Some of these are from Canva. And I am just now noticing that these services are different from when I did my test run earlier. So dental care hadn't been one of them. So I don't know that I have a good image that's sized appropriately for dental care. So we'll just go with what I've got. And actually, why don't we see about regenerating?
Okay. So now we have two surgical services. That's okay. And let's just come in here and we're going to upload. And we were talking about experienced veterinarians and experienced veterinarians are able to work with kitties that hiss. Okay. And let's preview. So we've got a little animation that this is coming in on scroll. We've got some hover effects, features. Okay, let's go back. And let's just take a quick look at the FAQ. So in addition to the regenerate option, we've got the ability to edit. And this is pretty nice of being able to put in your particular question and answer. I didn't see a, any way to add additional questions. So it looks like you may be limited at three. Also down here for your, for the social media links, uh, you're able to easily add in the links there. In terms of newsletter connection and the contact us form, I'm not entirely sure. Also, that seems to be the extent of the edits that we're able to do at this point, you know, minus I did skip over a couple of sections. But if you wanted this to actually be live, you need to let Butternut know that you're ready for the next step and they email you instructions. I haven't yet done that. I'll do that and pick this up in another video. Happy building.